Immediately after this, Jesus insisted that his disciples get back into the boat and head across the lake to Bethsaida while he sent the people home. After telling everyone goodbye, he went up into the hills by himself to pray. Late that night, the disciples were in their boat in the middle of the lake, and Jesus was alone on land. He saw that they were in trouble, rowing hard and struggling against the wind and waves. Now, this passage from Mark 6, verse 45 through 48, it always intrigues me. It comes right between two significant events that are recorded in Scripture. One, Mark chapter 6, Jesus has just fed 5,000 men plus the women and the children with a few loaves and fish. And then after this brief passage is when Jesus walks on the water out to them. And in, it's recorded in several of the Gospels. In Matthew, it even says that Peter says, if that's you, then tell me to walk out on the water to you. And, and so you've got the miraculous feeding, and then you've got Jesus walking on the water. Um, so he's just finished this miraculous feeding, and Scripture says he stayed behind to disperse the crowd and to pray while the disciples got in the boat and headed across to Bethsaida. Now, in verse 48, it says, Jesus saw that they were in trouble, rowing hard and struggling against the wind and the waves. So he proceeded to walk on the water to them. Now, if we're not careful, as we move from event, miraculous feeding, to event, Jesus walking on water, we will miss one very important aspect of the moment. And that is what it says in verse 48, or verse 45 or 46. It says, Jesus insisted that his disciples get back into the boat and head across the lake. That's verse 45. Jesus insisted that his disciples get back in the boat. They didn't just decide on their own to jump in and head across while Jesus stayed behind with the crowd. You know, that would kind of be, you know, wouldn't look too good on them. No, Jesus said, you get in the boat. You go. I'll move the crowd along. I'll come meet you. That's it. That's the point. That's what we need to remember. They were in the boat because Jesus put them there. They were in the storm because Jesus put them in the boat. If they hadn't been in the boat, Jesus likely wouldn't have walked out on the water to them because they wouldn't have been struggling and in serious trouble. So, if you're where Jesus has put you and things are starting to get stormy, it's time to look up. Your Savior has you right where he wants you. Pray with me. Lord, we don't like the storms. We really don't. Or at least we like sitting on the porch and watching the storm from afar. We sure don't like being in the storm. But sometimes that's where you put us. And there are times, Lord, where we, we, can't, we can't experience you in a deeper way unless we're in the storm. We know that your disciples wouldn't have understood you walking on the water 
except for the fact that they were in the boat in serious trouble when you came walking to them on the water. Sometimes we have to be in the boat in order to experience you more fully. So, Lord, if we are where you have put us and the storm winds start to blow, remind us to look up for right where you said we should be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, friends. Hope you have a great day. God bless you.